Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I'm participating in the What Would You Make Challenge. I love this challenge. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is Oliver, who's very unhappy with me right now because of the outfit. But first, but anyways, we are really happy you're here today. And if you're returning, you know I love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use my Waverly chalk paints in the color Crimson and Snow White, some painter's tape, these little tea light candles I've had in my stash for a while, and then these four by four blocks. We found this wood on the side of the road. My husband picked them up, cut them down to the sizes of 10, eight, and six inches. Then we went outside and he used his drill bit here to make some small holes for those tea lights to go into. And then after that, Oliver, I had to show you, he's learned his new trick of sitting. He's being so good at doing that when I tell him. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Anyways, after that, I painted those um, bricks with my white, two of them white, and then I'm doing one red. And when I do them, when I did the painting, I did really light coats because I wanted you to still, I wanted to have that rustic look. So that's why I did light coats. I did go a little heavier on the tops though, because my husband used a black Sharpie to mark where the center was and you could see it. <laughs> Anyways, then I wrapped some tape around my tallest block in diagonal form and then I'm just painting it with my red chalk paint there. After that, after it was all dry, I remove the painter's tape and then I'm going to use some of these picks. Now I just got these at um, Hobby Lobby. I bought a like a candle ring and I'm j just taking it apart. I don't know if it's a candle ring or, or a mean, uh, mini um, wreath but <clears throat> it was by the wreaths so <laughs> anyways then after that I took one of these ornaments I got from Walmart last year hot glued it to the middle of those um, little branches I don't, can't think of the name and then put one of these bows from Dollar Tree in the front and that's all there was for these. I absolutely love, 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 love these. And you guys, I saw something similar uh, this morning on Etsy. They're selling these for like 55 bucks. <clears throat> you guys, I paid maybe a dollar with everything. Maybe. I Amazing. Anyways, so today is the What Would You Make uh, challenge. It is hope. Open, uh, ah, hosted every month by Zaina with LK at Home and Connie with Connie's Creative Creations. This month's guest host is Miriam with Crafts with Miriam. And of course, we're doing everything with wood today. So make sure you check out their channels and the playlist to get all kinds of wood DIYs inspiration. So <clears throat> let's get on to DIY number two. Okay, so for this DIY, I'm going to use this wood ornament sign from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use this red buffalo check. I think I got this from Dollar Tree, but they don't. I haven't seen it for a while. Um, some chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree, and then my chalk couture chalk paste in the color candy apple, pesto, and bright white. And then I'm going to use this. Now, I think this was last year's. I don't think this one is available uh, this year. I haven't looked, um, but it's called Fala La Y'all. <laughs> Fala La Y'all. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so I cut down um, the Noel part. I cut that out because I just wanted to use this part. And I'm going to transfer. Uh, Fuzz it. So for those of you who are not familiar with Chakotor, these are adhesive stencils that have a silk screen in the middle. And the reason why we um, fuzz it is because we don't want it to be such a sticky fit that it will pull up paint or stretch the, the um, transfer when you pull it up. So right now I'm just using it to mark where I want to place the... Um, the vinyl. So then I took my black chalkboard paint and painted inside of those lines because I want it to be black. And I figured if I put the vinyl down first, I would definitely get vinyl on my, I mean, paint on my vinyl. So I decided to be best to paint it before I put down the vinyl. So once it was all painted, 
um, as you can see, I'm going, trying to go real careful along the line, but then I realized I'm going to cover it with my vinyl anyway. So <laughs> I did paint around the sides too. So then I put my uh, transfer back on and I'm going to use my candy apple to go over the Noel sign. And then I'm using pesto to go over the leaves and the bright white to go over the little dots and little stars that are on this sign. If you have never tried Chocotour and you're interested in it, we do have a monthly subscription club. It's called Club Couture and it's $21.99 a month. You get a an exclusive transfer. It's an eight by 11 that you can't purchase. You get three coordinating um, chalk paste to match it. And on your first order, you do get a squeegee. And it is, like I said, $21.99 a month. You do have to sign up. If you do sign up, you do have to sign up for at least three months. But it is a great way to get your feet wet and try it. Um, I became a designer before I ever tried this stuff. I absolutely love it. And I, yeah. But also, if you want to do something more and want to become a designer like myself, you can uh, just email me. I'd be happy to tell you about it. But as a designer, I do get 40% off of this stuff. So if you're wondering why I have so much of it, that's why, because I get a big discount. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't afford it either. I'd be on just the club. <laughs> But anyways, if you have any questions about it or would like more information, you can go ahead and email me or comment me or message me on uh, Facebook or Instagram. I'd be happy to talk to you about it or check out my link in my description box for Chalk Couture. So once that was all dry and I washed my stencil or transfer, I am taking my... Um, vinyl here and tracing it out. I traced out the bottom and now I'm tracing out the top and then I'm just going to cut it out and then place it right over <clears throat> that blank area and over the line of where the black is. After that, I am going to poke a hole because I covered the hanging hole. So I just poke a hole um, through the vinyl there. And then I'm going to take some of this braided, it's not really braided, it's like it kind of is. Anyway, it's a jute cord. I get it off of Amazon. I love this stuff. And I am just going to hot glue that right along where the paint and the vinyl meet. And I just love the way this looks. It just kind of frames it out and gives it that nice rustic look. Then I took that same cord and I'm going all the way around <clears throat> my, uh, sign with it because I just feel like it gives it a real nice finished look when you do that. And then after I have that all done and trimmed off, I'm going to make a bow. I made a bow. I'm sorry I didn't show it. Um, I just did the awareness ribbon out of burlap ribbon and then out of the red and um, Red Buffalo Check Ribbon with Snowflakes from Dollar Tree. They're both from Dollar Tree. I am adding some of the garland picks and frosted uh, picks from Dollar Tree, as well as some um, berry garland stuff that I wrapped around. I just add them all together, put a jute tie, uh, not a jute tie, a zip tie around it, and then I'm at hot glued it all to the sign. And here I'm just covering my um, chalk paste with that Mod Podge and let it dry. That way it becomes permanent and sealed. And there it is. I love it. I think it is so pretty. I just love Chalk Couture. It looks so nice. You have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below. Okay, if you'd like to follow me on social media, I have links to all of my accounts in the description box below. Go on and check on any of those that you are link to and follow me and here's diy number three okay i i love this one guys i don't know you guys might think it's weird but i just love the way this came out i'm going to use two of these wood pieces now i got these in a mystery box and i don't remember who it was that sent it to me um i got some craft sticks there my waverly chalk paint in the color crimson these um letters i got from Walmart just recently and they're like a dollar 48 each something like that and then I have some paper from that paper pad that I got last year from Hobby Lobby so I started off by painting a couple of those craft sticks and my letters with my red and then I am just tracing out the J and the Y with some um, paper that looks like brown wood and this paper also had some color on the side so that's why I was doing the 
Y in the middle because I didn't want it to have that color. I just wanted the wood look. Then I took my, um, this has a snowflake pattern and I'm tracing out the O and gonna cut that all out. And then I'm going to Mod Podge it using the um, method where I let the Mod Podge dry. And then once it's dry, add my paper, add some parchment paper and use my heat breast to reactivate the glue and get it to stick. If you're new here, I want to say welcome. I am so glad you joined us today. If you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then I would invite you to hit that subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. Now, I get uh, a notice and I see that like 55% of you guys that watch my videos have not subscribed yet. So if you are one of them, please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny, but it really does help me out and I truly appreciate it. And then you guys make sure you give me that thumbs up and comment because you all know that helps this girl out a big time. <laughs> so after I had that all done, I took my finger sander and I am just going all the way around and sanding off the excess paper that was hanging over the edge. Then I'm taking my super glue here and I am going to put my super glue all around the bottom of my Y. And I'm going to glue that to that bottom wood piece. But I'm also going to use, because I didn't want to sit there for hours waiting for it to completely set, this accelerant. And I will have a link to that in my description box. I, my husband actually used to get this all the time and then he doesn't need any more, so he lets me use it. But you just spray it on and you wait for about seven to 10 seconds and it is a permanent hold that fast. <clears throat> and I love it. So then I'm gonna do the same thing. I uh, cut up some of that popsicle stick or craft stick that I painted red. And I'm gonna use that, I'm putting it right over the Y because there wasn't gonna be enough, uh, very much contact between the O and the Y. So I wanted to give it more contact. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm using the glue and the accelerant to attach that craft stick and then also to craft, to attach the, um, the O and the J. And it is, that easy. I love this stuff. I know I don't use it very often, <clears throat> um, but when I'm using, when I want something that I know needs a stronger bond, um, this is what I will do. So after I had that done, I took another piece of that popsicle stick and I'm just putting it in between the O and the J just to give it some extra support there. I probably should have done the same between the O and the Y, but I wasn't sure um, how well that would fit, but I might go back and do that. Then I'm just gonna add this last wood piece to the top of my J, um, just like you see, just like I did everything else. And then I took some of these little greenery pieces and pine cones from my bag that's almost empty and I haven't found this at Walmart yet. I sure hope they come out with it. But um, I'm just adding it around the base of my Y and then just kind of in between the letters here and there. And I added, I think I added a few little pick berries as well. And that's all there is for this candle holder. Now, I would not put a real candle on there, you know, and just in case it comes apart, I don't think it will. But I just put one of my LED candles on top and I love the way this came out. You'll have to let me know what you think about this as well. Okay, it is a time for celebration of your recreation. So cute, Valerie. She made all these cute little gnomes for Halloween. Great job. Thank you so much for sending me your picture. And then we have um, Harriet. Oh, she has been busy. She's been making reversible DIYs. And look how cute they are. I just love them. Thank you, Harriet. And then beautiful May, she made this beautiful, these beautiful pieces here. And if you don't haven't checked her uh, channel out yet, check it out. It's Craft Away with May. And if you have a picture or a creation or recreation you would like me to showcase for you, all you have to do is email me a picture or send me a picture through Facebook Messenger or Instagram, and I would be more than happy to showcase it here for you. So. With all that, let's get on to DIY number four. 
Okay, now doesn't that kind of look like the Grinch? <laughs> oh man. Okay, my the verdict is still out on this one. So I'm using that decal that I created for another project previously that was too big and I had to, and I saved it. So I thought I'd use it for this one. Those jumbo craft sticks from Walmart, some of these snowflakes from Dollar Tree, some more of this um, Buffalo check vinyl, some more of these wood, these were actually wood piece ornaments that I got from Amazon. One of these little wood sticks that came from a uh, round wood pack from Hobby Lobby, my Waverly chalk paint in the color moss, that metallic gold paint, and three of these boards from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start off by you taking a brush and brushing on some wood glue in between each one of those wood pieces and gluing them together. Now if you're wondering why I'm using my paintbrush it's because something is wrong with that I don't know if this glue is really thick or if there's just something that's wrong with that top because I just can't get it out half the time. So then I'm going to use some of these craft sticks and I'm going to do the same thing, putting some um, wood glue on one side and then hot glue on the other. That way we have the immediate and permanent hold going on to um, with this sign. So after that, I took my vinyl, I'd cut it down to fit and I'm just going to lay it over my wood here. I know this is a wood DIY and I'm covering it. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, what can I say? Anyways, so after I have this all on there, then um, I did cut it a little bit wider or bigger and I just wanted to trim it down. So I'm using my X-Acto knife and my cutting mat and just trimming off the sides. After that, I took some spackle here and I'm just filling each hole on each one of those little wood slices. Um, because, you know, I didn't really want to see them. Now, this is one of the things I wish I would have done differently. So I went and painted the middle of all of these with my moss colored paint. I wish I would have just done antique wax on it. I think it would have looked more rustic and not, not so much like the Grinch. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyways, but that's what I wish I would have done. After I painted it, I was like, oh, I should have done the antique wax. So then I painted those two of those snowflakes with that gold color and I'm just hot gluing them together. And then I just started off by hot gluing each one of those wood slices in the shape of a tree with five on the bottom and then just going up one uh, minus one going while I went up. After that, I hope that made sense to you because <laughs> I don't think I described it very well. But anyways, I'm sorry. You saw what I did. I am going to hot glue this and make the snowflake the star. Now I'm going to take this decal and I'm going to put it right on top of my um, tree here. And this uh, transfer tape wasn't wide enough and my those letters kept coming off on the side. So I just decided to put them on my fingers and then add them um, without the transfer tape, which is what I'm going to do right here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, um, when I glance at this, I keep thinking I see the Grinch's face. Anyways, <laughs> I'm taking some more of those little greeneries and I am just hot gluing them to go in between each one of those slices. I just felt like it needed something more. Um, maybe I was trying to make it not look so much like the Grinch, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to put it in between each slice and all the way up the sides. And then I had these picks from um, Hobby Lobby that had little pine cones and pit berries. I added some of them as well, made a bow and hot glued it to the top. And then I took some of this braided jute lace ribbon. I don't know what you call it from uh, Walmart or not Walmart, Amazon. And I absolutely love it. I love it. I went all the way around, covered the edges of my plaque with it and then I also made a hanger with it as well. I did not cover the back. I will probably go back and do that because I will probably try and sell this at some point when I figure out how to sell it. <laughs> and there it is. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well. And do you see the Grinch too or is it just me? I don't know. Like I said, if you want to recreate this, I would use antique wax on the wood, not paint or paint it white instead. I don't know. <laughs> okay, here's the final reveal of all the projects today. Thank you again so much for watching. And again, if you're new here or if you've been watching and haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing and it makes me happy. <laughs> and with all that, make sure you guys give me that thumbs up and comment and share this video with those that you know that might like it. 
I really want to grow my channel and I just feel like I'm moving at a snail's pace lately. So I'd love your support and your help. So with all that being said, you guys, I will be back on Thursday with a small little video. And I will also be in Oregon with my grandson, my new bait grand grandbaby. I can't wait to see him. So until then, guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.